Here's a demonstration when the elevator is doing an internal test. There you check the top sensor, it checked the center one, and then the bottom. And then it's gonna come back to the middle again and spin the belt twice. And then go back down again. Then the machine has determined that everything is running okay as far as the sensors go. When the elevator starts its cycle uh, to do an internal test, the first thing you check is the sensor on the top. It's going to stop anywhere where the top tray is located at. So let's say for instance, you didn't have this tray, it's going to go and stop on the last one, which might be this one. So depending on where this, the, the top tray is, that's where it's going to stop. Uh, that stops it from hitting the top of the machine. And it moves all the way at the bottom, and it's going to check the cabinet sensor. This one's located on this little cutout on the left side of the machine. That one stops it from smashing at the bottom of the floor. And it's called a cabinet sensor. Then it's going to check the metal thing. And this is the positioning for the delivery thing. Once it reaches this uh, metal sensor, which is the delivery position sensor, it's going to spin this belt twice. And it knows that it's spinning the belt twice because it has a detection sensor for the belt only. And then it's going to hit the bottom sensor again. And that's when he knows everything checked out okay. So where do we start when the elevator is not running the internal test correctly? Uh, the first thing is to go to the programming menu. Uh, and then you can check one of our videos on how to move to the, to the keypad. Uh, it explains how to move around. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna go quick. Um, the first menu we need to check is going to be the option fault checking. If we press the letter A on this one, it's going to run a self test. And that's going to give you a better idea on what might be going wrong with the elevator. Okay. Um, the next step is we can check the actual uh, sensors that might be giving you an issue. So we're looking for checking motors of the machine. We're gonna enter this menu. This will be the main controller. Press A. Um, and here, the first thing we want to check is to make sure that all the sensors are running uh, smooth. So you keep scrolling with the number one and look for the cabinet sensors. Checking cabinet phototransistors. This is going to check the middle sensor for the delivery bin position and the bottom sensor only. There's only two of them. So we press A, we're gonna enter this. And right now, the elevator is all the way at the bottom, which means it's detecting the bottom sensor. So look down, bring the camera a little bit down. So what we wanna do now is go ahead and try to find the middle one. So we're going to move the elevator by pressing number one and holding it until we reach that middle sensor. There. Right now it's detecting the, the liver beam position sensor. There's an indication that on that end as far as the cabinet sensors go, that's working correctly. Okay, if one of those wouldn't be detected, when the elevator it starts going down, it's gonna try and reach the bottom one, uh, which usually what you see is the elevator hitting the bottom floor of the machine. 
and then when it moves and it's not detecting when it's moving up and it's not detecting the middle sensor what you're going to see is the elevator is going to pass that sensor and it's going to keep trying to reach it until it hits the top and that's those are the symptoms when the middle one or the bottom one is not working all right so let's say those check out correctly now we want to check every tray tray sensors each tray has a sensor um, and for this uh, we hit letter A and we're gonna start from the bottom so I'm just gonna go down again real quick so the detection of the trays is going to give you a number 11 through 18 so it all depends on how many trays you have in the machine in this case we have seven trays uh, the machine can have a maximum of eight trays so in this case we should see that is going to detect seven trays. So right now we're at the bottom tray. Move the camera a little bit. It's detecting the bottom tray. And then we're gonna move up a little bit. With the number one. And that should be detecting second tray, which is 12. And now we're gonna move up a little bit more. And that should be detecting the third one, which is 13 in this case. Again, that number, it depends on the connector that you have on there. I'm gonna move up a little bit more. And I'm gonna try to find that middle tray. 15, there you go. Then we'll move up a little bit more. 16. 17 and the top one should be 18 18 that's a total of seven trays if one of them is not being detected in the middle um, from the middle one from let's say the second one down the symptoms are gonna be that it might not vent from that tray and it's gonna give you an error in that tray but if the top one is giving you an issue then the elevator will hit the top it will just try to reach out the top tray. So it's gonna to continue to look for it and it will hit the roof of the machine. Uh, so again, if you have an elevator issue, those are the first things you need to check for, your sensors. Um, and last but not least, we're going to check the belt. Obviously when you're moving the elevator up and down, with the number one, that's a verifier that your motor that moves the elevator up and down are functioning correctly. It is moving up and down, no problem. There's no jams in there. If for any reason you were to hit one or two and it's not moving, then you have an, an issue with your motor, which is the center one underneath the, the, the machine. And I'll go over the motors in, in a little bit. Um, so now we're going to check our belt. Uh, and for this one, we need to go to the option, move elevator band. Uh, here we hit A, and then we can press one and hold it. And then you can move your belt. This is just an indicator that your belt is not jammed. Remember, uh, it doesn't mean that it, everything is working correctly as far as that goes, but your verifier will be when it goes up and down, your belt should only spin twice. If you see a spin, spin three times that means that there's an issue with your sensor on the bell detection system this is just a determination that there's no jam as far as that goes okay if you're any grinding noises that means there might be a gear as well uh, that it wants to connect uh, the gearbox with the actual motor so it should sound smooth as far as that goes spin no problem And here we have the two motors. The center one moves the elevator up and down. And the one on the left is going to be the one moving the actual belt. Uh, there's a gearbox in here, which has a couple gears. If you hear any grinding noise, most likely it's gonna be one of the gears, something's going on with it. And the middle one, if the elevator is not moving up and down, 
most likely it's gonna be something related with the center motor. Um, obviously, make sure always your tracks are clear, that there's nothing jamming the tracks when we, if this, this elevator is not moving up and down, really. And again, if you're any grinding noise, it might be related to the actual belt. <laughs> 